Hello YouTube, welcome back to some more Warriors of Orochi 3. Today we're going to save Joan of Arc from Blaze Storm, A Hundred Years War or something. I don't even remember which series she is in, but we're going to take in some. あれがわに平野の清盛を打ち破った場所たち討伐軍邪法の儀式を阻止できた者の清盛は打ち果たせなかったしかしあなたに仲間となった仙人佐治の導きによって清盛の居場所はすぐに判明した帝軍山陽気
is actually in a Japanese game, which is a Japanese game, which is related to, I guess, multilingual copies all over the world. I have no idea. Maybe Koi-san would do that. But yeah, so basically, speaking of this character, though, like, the basic story is, of course, Orochi ripped the, I guess, one or whatever, sucked the different dimensions into one, apparently Europeans got lost in a dimension too, and they end up here, as well as, I guess, the Greeks, and whatever. Um, yeah, as you've seen in this, like, mini cutscene-ish thingamajou is that he's gonna get killed because he was trying to let... Joan run away first. But as I've mentioned before, is that Uzumaki so always the strong character, but his existence from both of the three kingdoms related novels isn't confirmed. He just sounds like some kind of a mythical being, but who really knows? There is no like, I guess, expeditions or digging out of monuments that actually prove his existence. But one thing I do know, he's actually very strong since his, like, I guess, original release in Dynasty Warriors 3 or 4, I don't remember, but he was, like, already a playable character in the early series. And I always lost track of what I was trying to say. So Joan of Arc, actually, if you're using her, like, when you haven't trained her, she wasn't leveled up or she doesn't have a good weapon, she's a pain in the ass because... I guess she is one of those special characters that actually could deal really, like crazy damage and like have good combos had you actually spent time on just like getting used to her like, unique attacks as well as but then her attack speed is I can't say dismal because compared to I guess power class characters she's really like a lot faster but Sorry, my voice just gave out after like rehearsal for the whole day. Um, I guess female character-wise, she really needs some speed. I can't even jump off the cliff with the hell horse. But yeah, what I'm saying is, I guess this is one of the like many stages or battles that are featured in Warriors vs. Three Ultimate that I really like because. It really gives you the feeling that you actually fuse the different little parallel universes together because... Sorry, I had my hands on my hands on my sleep. I think in this battle with Anigawa, or the Greek battle before, um, like it fused the modern Tokyo, or Tokyo-ish, the Tokyo in Dead or Alive, with the ancient Japan 20 days in... Like, right now they have this, and as well as, I think a few battles ago, the one chasing after Daki is the one that fused with, I think it was the Soul Calibur stage? Well, the Soul Calibur theme stage, or, yeah. I think I have spoilers before, spoiler, I don't even say that, I have given you guys spoilers, that in one of the future episodes we're going to come across another of the Tecmo series, the Demon Hunter, but also Sexy Deal A and Ninja Gaiden character. What's her name? Oh god, I have trouble remembering their English names and their Japanese names for some reason. Is it Jessica? I think it's Jessica. If I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I have to apologize beforehand to the Jessica fans out there, but I praise her for being also sexy, not like myself. And yeah, so basically I think uh, my little Toshiro, this character right now, him and Samurai Warriors 4 is pure badass. And those who are actually like Joe Fan, you probably notice I actually switched the palettes for this character. I just think that he welding a him welding a purple weapon and having a I guess two times more badass. Which makes no sense, it's just me trying to mess with my weapons and stuff. Damn it, Okami. Yeah, I just discovered his air charge. But the one he's just going to creating a crater of which vanish instantly after he finished the attack. But that attack, if you have the officer down to low HP, it's going to be a one hit critical, like, kaboom. You are destroyed. So basically, like I've mentioned in an earlier part of this, I guess, before I play 
this part. I don't know how to phrase it, but like, I guess what the is. We are actually going to be up against this dude. He's going to devil talk to Kiyomori. He's going to like have control over like, I think the character conversation just now. I did not miss it. Oh yes, it's already on screen. So Guan Yu, the, I guess, the Chinese mythological battle god or I guess god of the war of China, as well as Sun Quan, um, the successor of the kingdom, has been under, I guess, that big bald dude spell. And yeah, speaking of devil, here comes Sun Quan. We're gonna beat him up hard in the face, and after defeating him, he actually wakes up. Oh yeah, back to the government of War Zack and Trivia. He also goes down way that dual kingdom. Which is pretty interesting because both of them have really thick pieces, but obviously it does not sound anything like the same character. So yeah. Uh yeah, a lot of people are like, um does playing in the hard mode be a lot harder? Well, let's just say we're not playing off screen, which I haven't done so in this game, or like, I guess this copy of PS4 game yet. But, like, you can turn, I guess, anything in the world or technology players fan would know. If you had gone through all those different editions, especially the other editions of the Samurai and that Samurai, had you been through that, I guess, playing hard even in the very beginning of, like, it's not gonna be hard, but it's gonna be hard because I am a new one to the wall gameplay. It's just hard. At least for this, I guess, for I guess the Vessels, Empires, A8 Empires, whatever, was easier because I guess it's only embarrassing if you lose. Like, I guess I did it a couple of times in that. But as in this one though, it's, I've been mentioning this over and over again during the series. Honestly, my opinion is I think they have to play with the this one because I was like, maybe I was just both hitting. I don't want to play with the game. So I end up going back and like, take out the PS3, the very old, the first PS3, the chubby chubby round round one. and. I tried playing it. I actually um, started in the tower and I tried playing it. And I immediately went with hard. Of course, I want to go with Shuda or the ultimate hard. It's like, it that bad. It's just honestly, it wasn't that bad. But, like, somehow. I went off screen before I played this battle and went back to one of the ones that I... Congratulations to she, you actually... I was just busy talking, didn't notice I killed so many people. I was just saying that I went back and tried. I think it was Haseido, because I really liked the cutscene with Ayane and Mishizune, uh, so I was enjoying myself playing that and I tried hard. And, by the way, when I say hard, that means my character should have no good weapons in the game, but I can't cheat it on the previous PS4 copy, I actually use some of my weapons, and, yeah, I actually didn't die, but, let me just tell you, even with me going to butt naked, trying, like, hard on the PS3 copy, wasn't that bad, but, yeah, so right now, I'm just gonna go with Cheater Cheater Bitch Face, because this mofo is not a good to so, yeah, yeah. Power of cheating and hot dogs. He has facial issues for me. But that, like, cyclone of blades is just cool. So, once again, our bloggy that looks like Wukong has completed another mission. ここまで追い詰めておきながら、清盛を打ち漏らすとは。だが、これで邪法の本拠は制圧した。以後、操られる者も減るだろう。正しき妖術に操られ妖魔の手先になるとは関雲長一生の不覚それは我ら皆が感じていることだ二度と我らのようなものを出さぬために平良の清盛は打ち果たさねばというわけで俺たちも協力させてもらうぜ危ないところを助
ありがとうございましたこの世界の平和を取り戻すため私もお手伝いしますそれにあなた方は時を渡ることができると聞きましたその力を貸していただければきっとあの人も So yoink, we have saved the warriors and I guess apart from Joan, the rest is the I guess that's the warriors roster, which I'm not anyways disappointed, but I guess I'm trying to speak in a lower voice, so I sound like I'm bored, but had I been bored I wouldn't even be recording. It's just I really like the series. I really like any Dynasty Warriors hit. Of course, this really wasn't a bad battle because I happened to have three characters of Power Class A. The three characters that I use a lot during my previous playthrough played through on the PS3 version, so I'm totally down with that. And once again, um, Every time when I had a good playthrough, I, I always feel really jolly when it comes to the ending sequence. I go all jumpy and stuff. But yeah, uh, expecting more of this coming up. It's not gonna be like a filler for the 4 2 that's coming up, but it's gonna come. Just believe in me, and thank you all for watching. Goodbye.